So guys, the Nvidia so when Nvidia, AMD, Oculus, Valve and Microsoft gets all together in a consortium, that means there's something very, very interesting has to come out. So let's see together what is gonna be the new port that we're gonna find of our new graphic card, new laptops, new pre-built desktop PC to connect our VR headset and not just those let's see together but first thank you so much for watching if you're new from the channel feel free to check out all the other videos in the channel and if you like what you see i want to keep an update about vr and tech in general just click or tap the subscribe button so you don't miss anything but let's go back in topic and let's see together what this new connection is all about and let's talk about all the information we have about the new virtual link connection Okay, so let's start to talk how we are connecting our VR headset right now to the computer. Usually we have two or three cables where we have a HDMI for the display data, USB that you use for the power in case of the Oculus or it used for the sensor too in case of Windows Mixed Reality, so power and sensor to have our data on the tracking or in some case we have three of those where we have the USB, the HDMI and the power Port, like in the HTC Vive where we need even more power to drive all the stuff that we have inside that are these uh, sensors from Valve and also the USB pass-through that we have so we're gonna be able to run our accessories that's power enough to run them without any problem. We're talking about lip motion, we're talking about uh, the Vive and Chill, everything that came out during these years for the HTC Vive. Now, uh, what is uh, Virtual Link aiming for this consortium is to use just one single connection that is gonna look exactly like a USB Type-C. So it's something that we already see and something you're pretty used with the phones, we are pretty used with the laptops right now, and also in some desktop PC, we already find USB Type-C. And this new connection is gonna be able to run four lanes of HBR3, that is iBitrate 3, that is the last standard for the display part. And every single lane is gonna be able to run a single 8K display at 60 Hz, same thing for the 5K display at 60 Hz, or like having two 4K display at 120 Hz, so more than the 90 Hz we're aiming right now in VR. Also bringing the power 27 watts, so we're gonna be able to bring more power through the headset to power up different sensor and stuff that probably in the future will be more than two. We're talking about uh, maybe new Windows Mixed Reality or uh, because Oculus is involved, I think maybe our Santa Cruz is gonna be able to connect also to the cable to an INPC to use it, not just uh, in, uh, as a mobile VR, but also like an INPC VR. And that's what I, I'm really looking for because the Switch told us that that is possible and it works pretty, pretty well, can have success, so probably they're aiming for that too. And the fact that Oculus is there uh, in the prime line to, to get to this new connection is very, very interesting. We're talking about also data through the USB 3.1 generation two, super speed. So we're gonna have a lot, a lot of bandwidth to handle every single kind of data we need. So why now this small form factor and high bandwidth single connection is so interesting? Because many times it's like very hard to like just connect to the computer. Many times we don't have the right ports, like some computer has USB Type-C, some computer don't. Some computer has HDMI, some display ports, some they have a mini display port and everything. In this case, we're gonna have a standard that is gonna work with every PC. And when we're gonna see like new PC, like VR ready, probably you're gonna see them with this new kind of connection. We're gonna be able just to pop up a single cable and just get in VR without any problem, without having to think about connecting the power, connecting the USB, having enough USB on a computer, but everything will run on a single cable. That is great because it's gonna create even easier um, get in for new customer and everything. And the thing that Microsoft is in, maybe the new Xbox is gonna have this kind of connection and it's gonna be able to run finally VR and get in the competition too. The new PlayStation probably is gonna do too, but uh, we don't see Sony in this list yet, but this is consortium, so nothing stops Sony to just get in in the future and get part of the development and everything. It's very, very interesting. I can't really wait for GameStone to come out uh, when we have some leak about probably the new uh, 1180 will be presented, so the new NVIDIA graphic cards or 
2080 as you want to call it and i can't really wait for it so we're going to be able to see what is going to be the future for us in vr and what is going to be the future of every single new headset that finally is going to be a real plug and play and not a fact of dongles having the pc ready there or there but everything will be as easy as to plug in a pair of headphones and get in our new great experience that are VR. Anyway guys, if you liked the video, like, if you didn't like the video, dislike, subscribe to the channel for more about VR and tech in general. See you guys in the next video. Ciao.